Hello viewers and welcome to our final roundup of Driver San Francisco coverage. Uh, over the last sort of few weeks I just wanted to uh, give you an idea of uh, my first impressions of the game and you know how we've come to where we are right now because with the videos it's different to say a written article you know you'll read a preview you'll read a review but you don't always see the uh, the process that goes through you know I like a game I don't like a game I like a game I don't like a game some games you like them at first and they turn out to be rubbish other games you might not like them at first and they grow on you and eventually you find hidden depths if we look at driver in 2010 it didn't really do anything for me it didn't really impress me uh, I just wasn't grabbed by it uh, I suppose that many open wheel open sort of environment driving games have never really grabbed me uh, and it wasn't until E3 this year in the video that we showed our exclusive video of uh, Driver then was, was just how much the game had improved. You know, we had these 60 frames per second, we had nice lighting effects, nice chrome effects on the cars, we had this nice looking body language I mentioned at the time. I do like to see that kind of body light language, that torque effect on the car if you like. It's really nice to see. You know, put the handbrake on, rev the car for a second and you'll see what I mean. So we saw that. Then I had my first go on the game, um, and I don't know, I think at first for me, and I, I think some people will find this with the demo, the handling felt a bit sloppy to me at first, I didn't really get to grips with it, as I, you know, it's, it's a different style of driving. But as I played it more, and as I played the multiplayer mode, it suddenly all came together. Now I understand it, now I understand the whole film process that you see within the driver environment, the way they want you to brake and handbrake into a corner, and slide it round. In some cases you'll have to see, the, it, will, it would help to see some of the films that uh, these, these car chases relate to, classic 70s films such as Bullet. But on playing it more, getting into the multiplayer mode, I understood more about the handling, more about the shift system. I didn't get shift at first and when people play the demo, uh, there's a mode where you shift, you shift into another car, you know, to prove that you can do, you have this ability, but it doesn't show what shift can do. And a good example is I, I mentioned on the police chase in the original E3 video, I don't know why they're shifting. Why are you shifting? The police are all going after the other car. What, what are you supposed to shift? The idea is, for example, say you're in a police chase, uh, you've got loads of police behind you, you can't get away, shift into a bus, Matrix style, and block the road, and then that way the police will crash into the road and it creates a massive pileup. You've used shift tactically, and that's something which perhaps the demo doesn't show you because in those modes you don't need to. But in multiplayer, it gets more and more tactical as to which vehicle to jump into, selecting a vehicle and knowing when to shift and where to shift. Very important. So I, I really like the ability uh, the fact is, yes, there are games where if there's a crash on the first corner, you go off, first place gets away, you're never going to see him again. Uh, if you played that in a mode, in some of these modes, you know, the game would be over and it'd be like, oh well, wait till the next game. The shift immediately puts you back in the action, it gives you another chance. If you're a good player, you should be able to learn the tactics and pull away. Though I have to admit, when it comes to tag mode, there's a, a fair amount of luck in there as to getting the tag at the right place at the right time. You can be a tad unlucky on it. But I say that now, let's wait and see the online players and when people really master it, what they're going to be doing. I bet there's going to be some sneaky tactics in there. And I've no doubt the testers at uh, Reflections have already picked up on a few of those. So, what have we seen? As I say, we've seen, we didn't like it, then we did like it, then we got the handling, then we got the multiplayer, yes. Then we went to the uh, studios and they unleashed multiplayer games on us and that was it, my, my decision was made up. I really liked it, it, it was a must buy to me there and then. I haven't reviewed the whole game yet, I've reviewed what I've seen so far and I've really enjoyed it. I could probably play Trailblazer all day and never get bored just because of the, the crazy madness of it all. It's so different to the other games I play. At the moment, obviously, it's a shame that it isn't steering wheel compatible something I would have liked but I can see why it's not compatible with a wheel. Um, people do keep asking me about free roam, does it have free roam? I don't know is the honest answer to that. I don't have a, a list of modes and options sent to me yet. As soon as I get a full list of mode not options I can uh, answer your questions and go through those in a bit more detail. But uh, this concludes our driver coverage. Loads of videos, loads of content. Uh, you've got the demo, so hopefully you can all make up your mind on the one-player mode. The multiplayer demo comes out next week, and we'll have a, a review in a few weeks as well. So that's it for now, viewers, and I'll see you soon.